Hello, fellow who is watching this reviews, and they are doing Doctor Who an unearthly style. This is the pilot of Doctor Who, is also known as the uh, Womanian BC. Um, that was doing this way, I think, um, on my uh, 1000 video, and I thought I does it with. I'll just go back to the uh, uh, Doctor Who since that was originally what I just wanted to review on this uh, channel, but you know what happens. Anyway, uh, the theme is go like the visuals and that, and I think uh, that the story is okay and separate the three or no, four parts I think but I think only the four part is the best so I'll get, get more to that in 1963 a school teacher school teachers named Ian Chesterton and Barbara I can't remember last name I was just talking about their student their student Foreman, one after she leaves, and um, she finds to bring uh, a friend to go to their to her house and open a junkyard where this old man uh, tries uh, to uh, get them away and get in front of the police telephone box. And um, when they go in, the telephone box is bigger. On the inside, compared to the outside, and um, they don't really believe that this is actually happening. They think it's some sort of a, a mirror trick or something. And when they uh, hear that can travel space and time, that just gets them to disbelieve them more. And Susan, as Colin, the thing at Tardis, thanks to its uh, initials. Um, definitely name uh, Susan's uh, grandfather, grandfather Doctor Foreman. Um, he seems to like the name Doctor, so I guess that how he got it. Um, rather than let him loose, he decides to pilot the ship and take them somewhere in time and space. Yeah, this is a good uh, first part. Just on that William Hartnell as a grumpy grandfather who's trying to protect uh, his uh, granddaughter and make sure she didn't like her hurt or a um, natural pariah at some point. Um, that can buy the others as good as well. I'm not saying something since it was the 60s or something that can worry that good, but. Mm. Um, the next uh, three episodes in this uh, story just take place sometime in the uh, Metzilk era, I think, where there was a caveman and a school of fire, and that's the uh, kidnap Doctor and his companions because uh, one caveman saw Doctor light his uh, pipe. And uh, he's finding it hard to make. Fire, so I was trying to force the Doctor to. And the one point where the Doctor tries to knock a caveman out with a rock, but Ian just stops him saying they're, they're better than this. So this is probably the first time, well, definitely the first time where the companion that makes the Doctor a better person rather than a uh, brute or anything. And just a, f a few other things. Uh, Happen. Music is good and the costumes are just good as well. I kind of believe that they're K people. Um, I was like, I remember just run from the K man, just a little bit funny, and then just get uh, wrecked afterwards. And I think the uh, when he wrecked, I think it was uh, similar. Uh, in this to uh, the Daleks, 
So, I don't know, maybe just use the same type of uh, technique for him or something. I don't know. And let's see if there's any last one else. Uh, so, so, as I said, Susan does really care about her, her grandfather, even if he's like stubborn as far as to say. I don't know he could control her, but maybe being too overprotective, but. Mm -hmm. And it kind of makes sense why the time and space. Like this is time and space, so since uh, I think Barbara, the history teacher, and Ian was a uh, science, so the both companions can uh, just uh, do something in the episode, like explain things or whatever. Um, this pretty, as I said, the first episode is pretty good. For the start, the next few episodes after that are just. Hey, I don't know if that's the address he needed, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, that's uh, down it. Some some good lines, like Dr. Jane Taylor wondered what be like the wanderers on the fourth dimension, the trills, the exiles. I'm very sure about that, right? But. Mm -hmm. Um, didn't really say, or didn't even introduce the, the Doctor and Susan's uh, alien species, was it, or Time Lords, or Gallifreyans, or what? Well, you can tell they are kind of alien with their, that was their ship, but, mm hmm. Um, the ones else, oh, so yeah, the end of this was to these in, uh, two. The, da the Daleks, so mm -hmm. yeah, basically, that was, that was like in the class series from 1963 to 1969. Just mm -hmm. um, a pretty good start to a great song, and just uh, uh, the second song for the, the first step. Uh, I think I, I first ever, or the first British uh, female uh, producer. Or the executive producer, I forget. Which uh, the creator of it was. That's the one, but. Mm -hmm. um, um. Yeah, that's about it. Um, hopefully, I get to 2000 at some point. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.